Hey guys, in this video, let's do the comparison between the Realme T3 and the TWS earbuds plus OnePlus Nord Buds 2 or TWS earbuds. So now in this video, I'm sharing you which are all the best in each segments, including its audio quality, calling experience and overall usage experience. Well, now before that, if you are new to this channel, subscribe to our channel. Firstly, let me share you the common cons on the both Realme T3 and, and the OnePlus Nord Buds 2 or earbuds. So the first con is that both earbuds not have the app support for iPhone user and in both the earbuds there is no volume control mainly in oneplus Nord Buds 2 or there is no volume control but in realme t300 there is a volume control option but there is some constraint so the volume control actually uh, under the triple tap setting so here it is but under this triple tap only but all other functions are available like next track previous track switch device so if you select a volume up and down for left and right earbud means then you can't able to use the previous track next track or you can't able to use the switch device function so if a user want all the function means they can't able to use so that is the point the volume control is there in the realme t300 earbuds but it has some constraints and in both the earbuds there is a dual connection in the form of switch device method which means you can instantly switch over the connection from one device to another device but the earbuds will not always connected between two devices at any time and in both the earbuds there is a no google fosspair support so these are all some of the common cons between realme d300 and oneplus Nord Buds 2 or earbuds well now firstly let's start with the design and build quality so in the realme t300 earbud you can able to get in the black and white color variant and in the oneplus Nord Buds 2 r you can get in a deep gray misty gray and blue color variant so in terms of build quality compared to realme t300 i feel better in the oneplus Nord Buds 2 r earbuds and moreover both earbuds are built with a plastic material only but the plastic quality is much better in the oneplus Nord Buds 2 r compared to realme t300 and next moving on to the connection and connection range both earbuds comes with the blue Bluetooth version 5.3 connection and both as the auto pairing and manual pairing mode you can instantly connect these earbuds to any new device with the help of the manual pairing mode and also both device has the dual connection in the form of switch device and in both the earbuds there is the app support for realme t300 you need to install the realme link application and for oneplus Nord Buds 2r you need to install the hey melody application and both this application only supported on android smartphone so if you are an iphone user no app support for iphone but also there is one way if your iphone user you better connect the earbuds one time with the android phone and change the settings whatever you want and after that unpair it from android phone and again repair it with your iphone so this will actually greatly helpful for you to access uh, much more features uh, right from the earbuds itself so without the app support also and compared to oneplus Nord Buds 2 or in the realme t300 uh, there is some extra features in the realme link application compared to the hey melody application so here we have the oneplus Nord Buds 2 or so this is the hey melody application and here is the realme t300 with the realme link application so in the realme t300 so we already know there is a anc support but in the oneplus Nord Buds 2 there is a no anc support so you will not get that feature and also there is a equalizer mode so you can able to change the equalizer mode and also you can create your own equalizer so like that option is also available in the oneplus Nord Buds 2 or in the hey melody app and then in the realme t300 there is a volume enhancer i'll speak about in the music section and uh, here is the game mode and the game mode also available in the realme link application and the main thing is that in the realme link for realme buds t300 you can use the find my earbuds feature and find my phone feature but these two option is not available in the uh, hey melody application for oneplus Nord Buds 2 or earbuds so that is a one drawbacks and also there is some constraints in the find my earbuds feature for the realme t300 because this find my earbuds feature only works on realme smartphone but if you connected this realme t300 to the non realme android phone means then you can't able to use the find my earbuds feature but that is a find my phone feature so this is really helpful for you once you enable this feature in the left or right earbud if you tap four times means then your phone will actually ring so these are all the some additional features in the realme buds t300 compared to oneplus Nord Buds 2r and uh, moving on to the anc so in the realme t300 earbuds there is a anc support in any one of the earbud if you long touch you can able to access the noise cancellation and the transparency mode and also in the app also there is a feature and if your iphone user also there is a no issue so right from the earbud itself if you long touch you can able to switch the anc modes and, but this anc feature is not available in the oneplus Nord Buds 2 or earbuds and in the realme t300 earbuds the anc uh, performance is actually decent good for the uh, what the price they actually claim so and in my point of view so i just made some simple testing for anc with this realme t300 earbuds and i made an experimental video you, you can just watch that with the headphone so that you can able to get better clarity on how the anc will 
actually works and how the ANC performance will be on this Realme T300 earbud. And next moving on to the bearing and touch control. So the bearing is completely based on each one ear size. But for mine, the bearing comfortness is good in both the TWS earbuds. But I have some better comfort on the OnePlus Nord Buds 2 or than Realme T300 earbuds. It's completely my point of view. So I actually use these earbuds for more than hours. I used it to go walk and jog and during bike ride. At any point, the earbuds never fall down from my ear. Overall, the bearing comfortness is good on both. And after that, in terms of touch functions, in the Realme T300 and OnePlus Nord Buds 2 are both as the dedicated touch functions in the earbuds. In the earbuds there is a, a step design in the T300 and there is some round shape design in the OnePlus Nord Buds 2 are. So this is the touch area and for every touch you get some digital sound so that will actually give some sense of uh, you activated that uh, particular function. So these are all really good and the touch functions are very sensitive and you can able to access all functions. And the one advantage in the Realme T300 as it has supposed to control the volumes using the earbuds but in the oneplus Nord Buds 2 there is a no volume control well guys next to moving on to the audio quality so in terms of audio quality in both tws earbuds you will get the best audio hearing experience both earbuds has a, a very high volume and the bass effects are really awesome you will enjoy every beat of the music but on comparing with the realme t300 and oneplus Nord Buds 2 or the realme t300 volume level is slightly higher than the oneplus Nord Buds 2 or if the overall volume level is high means then the bass effect is also slightly high compared to the oneplus Nord Buds 2 or you can able to feel this difference only if you hear a high pitch songs and apart from that if you hear any melody songs like that means then you not feel any difference in audio quality compared to t300 and oneplus Nord Buds 2 or while well, you are hearing songs in both these earbuds you will get the best musical experience and in both these earbuds there is a dolby atmos support so in realme t300 to get a dolby effect you need to connect in the dolby atmos supported realme phone and for oneplus Nord Buds 2 or you need to connect in the dolby supported oneplus smartphone and also in the realme t300 there is a spatial audio effect uh, support in the realme link app you can see the option spatial audio you need to turn on this option and after that you can able to get spatial audio effect but to get the spatial effect like a 360 degree surround effect you need to connect this realme t300 earbuds to the dolby atmos supported realme smartphone and also you need a spatial audio content not all the songs will support supported spatial audio only specific songs with the label of spatial audio and dolby audio uh, label then that particular song only supported with the spatial audio effect overall compared to oneplus Nord Buds 2 or in realme t300 earbuds the overall volume level and bass effects is slightly higher and also there is a feature called spatial audio which is not present on the oneplus Nord Buds 2 or overall t300 audio quality will be better than the oneplus Nord Buds 2 or and then moving on to the calling experience i posted a separate video uh, uh, in terms of calling for uh, both oneplus Nord Buds 2 or and uh, realme t300 so in that video you can able to get the clear difference on this both earbuds but overall in terms of calling in oneplus Nord Buds 2 or the background noise is compressed well than the realme t300 earbuds and the calling experience is also better than realme t300 in the oneplus Nord Buds 2 or and in both these earbuds there is a dual mic present in each earbud but in terms of calling oneplus Nord Buds 2 or is good one and moving on to the battery performance in the oneplus Nord Buds 2 or you get 5.5 to 7 hours of earbuds only playtime hours you can able to get 7 hours at 60 percent volume and 5.5 hours of playtime hours at 100 percent volume and in the realme t300 there is a anc support if anc on means you will get a 4 hours 15 minutes to 5 hours and with the anc off you will get a 5 hours to 5.5 hours and the total playtime hours in the realme t300 is up to 29.5 hours with the 60 percent volume on anc off condition and in the oneplus Nord Buds 2 or you will get a 23.5 hours to 35 hours in the oneplus Nord Buds 2 or there is a no anc so without anc in the oneplus 
Nordburst. Nordburst 2 are 35 hours is the maximum playtime hours at 60% volume. And in the Realme T300 without ANC at 60% volume, you will get a 29.5 hours as the maximum playtime hours. So in OnePlus Nordburst 2 are you will get a higher playtime hours than the Realme T300 both in the earbuds only and with the total playtime hours including case and earbuds. In the earbuds only you will get a maximum 7 hours but in the Realme T300 you will maximum get up to 5.5 hours only. And in terms of charging both earbuds can be easily chargeable within 30 minutes using case battery and to charge both charging case and earbuds it takes 1 hour 15 minutes to 1 hour 30 minutes to complete the full charge. And I use it with a 33 watts adapter so whether it's a 18 watts or 33 watts that is enough. Overall in terms of battery performance OnePlus Nord Buds 2R is better than Realme T300 earbuds. Well finally now these are all the uh, best things on the Realme T300 vs OnePlus Nord Buds 2R. Now based on your preference you choose the right product. So I told some of the important thing. So in the OnePlus Nord Buds 2R the main disadvantage is there is a no ANC support. Apart from that all other things are good and there is no app support for iPhone. And as usual in the Realme T300 earbuds all are good only. Only in terms of battery you will not get a 7 hours like playtime hours as like OnePlus Nord Buds 2R. And also there is a no app support for iPhones so in the Realme T300 earbud also. So now it's completely your point of view. So based on your preference you select the right product. Overall both this TWS earbuds as a good value in terms of music experience calling and overall usage experience well now that's it on this video guys and hopefully if you like this video hit the like button and if you are new to this channel subscribe to our channel below and thanks for watching this video guys